You want some OSHA training, but you're not sure which course you need? Well, there are several options when it comes to OSHA training courses. Is it the construction course you need, or the general industry version? Should you take the 10-hour course, or the 30-hour course? Do you need an on-site training class conducted for a group at your site, or would one of the online OSHA training courses be better suited for you? To help you answer all of these questions, this tutorial will explain the different versions and formats of OSHA training classes that are available through our company. Then you should be able to know and get the OSHA training you need. The OSHA training courses cover one of two major industry categories. The first one is called General Industry. These training courses cover the OSHA standards that appear in Part 1910 of the Code of Federal Regulations. There are also OSHA training courses that cover the construction industry, which is regulated by Part 1926 of the Code of Federal Regulations. The general industry courses cover most workers in the United States, including those employed at most factories. Therefore, the manufacturing of most industrial and consumer products, including food products, and the maintenance activities taking place at these operations would all be covered by the general industry courses. So would employees involved in warehousing and logistic operations, chemical plants, oil and gas production operations, including refineries, biotech facilities, workers in the healthcare industries such as medical care providers and dental offices, and those employed in various service industries such as plumbing, food and hospitality, and janitorial services to name a few. The construction industry courses, on the other hand, cover those workers involved in new construction including all site preparation work, the construction of commercial and industrial facilities, residential properties, and other structures. Construction courses also cover all demolition work as well as major renovation, alteration, and repairs, which also includes painting. If you need an OSHA training course, because it is a stipulation of a current or prospective employer or customer, make sure and check with them first to see which version of the training course they require you to take. There are a total of four OSHA outreach training courses available through our company. The first two are called the OSHA 10-hour courses for general industry and for construction, and the other two are called the OSHA 30-hour courses for general industry and construction. The 10-hour courses are geared towards the workers on the job and provide the trainees with an understanding of basic health and safety hazards commonly found in the workplace so they can be avoided. The course also explains who OSHA is as well as some of the basic rights afforded workers under the OSHA Act. Participants who successfully complete either 10-hour course will receive the OSHA 10-hour wallet card for their industry. The OSHA 30-hour courses for general industry and construction are geared more toward safety managers and coordinators as well as anyone else with responsibilities for oversight of or a strong interest in safety and OSHA compliance matters. This course is therefore appropriate for supervisors and managers as well as anyone else who wants a thorough overview of the OSHA regulations applicable to their industry. The 30-hour courses allow trainees to better identify workplace hazards and the means to control them per applicable OSHA regulations. It also provides them with an understanding of the many administrative responsibilities that go along with managing a safety and health program. Trainees who successfully complete a 30-hour course will receive the OSHA 30-hour wallet card for either construction or general industry. 
There are two formats available for taking OSHA 10 and 30 hour courses for general industry and construction through our company. The first is on-site classes where you schedule a time for our OSHA authorized trainer to come to your site and conduct a class for your group. And the other are our OSHA accepted online courses. On-site OSHA 10 hour classes are typically spread over two days and 30 hour courses are usually spread over four days. That is because OSHA now limits the maximum time a student can spend in actual training to no more than seven and one half hours on any given day plus additional time spent for breaks. Once the OSHA training class is completed, all students who successfully finish the course will receive a personalized certificate of completion and the official DOL wallet card for each student's OSHA 10 or 30 hour class will be mailed out after they have been processed at the OSHA Education Center. The online OSHA 10 and 30 hour courses are designed to be taken by an individual student. A student can register for an online course on our website or it can be done by someone else from their company or organization. There is also a link on our website for sending information if you want us to register multiple students for you. Help is also available by calling our office. Once a student is registered for their course, they can begin training right away if they wish, or they can log into their course at a later time. In fact, students taking one of our online courses have the luxury of logging in and out of their course at their own pace, even from different computers. Every time the student logs out of their course, it is automatically saved at that spot, and when they log back in, it resumes. Just like with on-site classes, OSHA does limit the maximum amount of time a student spends training online to no more than seven and one-half hours in a given day, with the timer being reset at midnight. OSHA also requires that all training be completed within a six-month period from when the course began. However, students wanting to get done quickly can finish a 10-hour course in as short as two days and their 30-hour course in as fast as four days. In fact, there is absolutely no faster way to get your OSHA training completed than by taking one of our online courses. Once the course is successfully completed, the student can print out their personalized certificate of completion. This temporary certificate provides the student with proof they completed the course and the official DOL wallet card for your online OSHA 10 or 30 hour course will be mailed after it has been processed at the OSHA Ed Center. By the way, the wallet cards for an on-site and online class are exactly the same. There is no differentiation. So, which OSHA training course do you need? Hopefully, what was once a confusing mess is now as clear as can be. So visit our website at www.oshatraining.com and check out our online and on-site OSHA 10 and 30 hour courses. While you're there, you'll see we also offer on-site and online training for many other OSHA topics such as confined space entry and the HazWopper courses. You'll also find other OSHA training resources that we offer, such as safety training videos and DVDs and free OSHA toolbox talks. So go to our website and get the OSHA training you need now. Oh, <laughs>